What's up everyone, Nelson Dells here, and in today's episode, we're gonna talk about something I probably should have talked to you about a while ago, and that is the fastest way to memorize any list, hands down. You wanna know how to do it? Let's go. All right, so the name of the technique is the linking method. It's been around for years, it's super simple, and basically what it is, is what the name of the technique says. It is linking information from one thing to the next. So essentially, you're just building a narrative from one item to the next that links them all together into one cohesive story. So the idea is that when you picture it, and of course the story needs to be very bizarre, over the top, whatever, with all these images, but they need to be connected, that's, that's important. But the idea is that once you've had it all connected, to recall it, you just start at the very first image and you just continue the chain, the link, till the end. Think of like a metal chain of links. One is connected to the next, that one's connected to the next one. You gotta go from one to the other. They are all connected into this one strand. That's the idea. So come up with a picture, obviously, for each thing. Make a connection between each subsequent image. And that can be done in a number of ways. Maybe they touch each other or they interact with each other or they cause, it's cause and effect, they cause each other. It's up to you. Just make it as memorable as possible. Now, a couple caveats about this technique. Yes, imagine you forget one of the links. The rest of your images could be lost forever. So maybe it's not the best technique to ensure that you have all the information, but it is the quickest way. If you're in a pinch and you wanna memorize a list, grocery list, a list of information, whatever, just jump to the linking system. You don't need any prep, you don't need to build any memory palaces, nada. Absolutely nada. The best way to learn how to do this is to do an actual example. So let me tell you a little story and you just have to listen. All you have to do is listen and you will be hopefully memorizing, but here we go. Start with imagining that you have a single Yukon potato. You throw it at the British Columbia. He then tells himself that he's gotta get out of there, goes to the Northwest. He goes into hiding, he finds a hideout with Fat Albert, who suddenly is like, I will have none of it. So he jets out of there and bumps into Sasquatch, who's cooking a man in a tub, and he flips this on switch that just tears the person apart. You, as an observer, you suddenly start to be all pumped up, adrenaline rushing, you just wanna save the guy, so you say, K, put him on your back. K, back, and you make a run for it. You find a new land filled with labs, you spend the night there burning new wick candles, and then as you go to bed, you see a big nova in the sky that you throw some kosher salt at because it's part of your tradition. And then when you wake up, it's Prince singing Purple Rain. Purple Rain. This is giant head, Prince head. End of story. Freaking weird, I know, so weird. But, memorable, and guess what? It actually stands for something. Wanna know what it stands for? Wanna know what it stands for? So that was actually all of the Canadian provinces and territories, roughly from west to east, if you were to look on a map. So if you couldn't put it all together, I'll break it down for you. The Yukon Gold, that's the Yukon Territories. The British Columbian is British Columbia. Northwest, that's the Northwest Territories. Fat Albert, that's Alberta. None of it is none of it. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly, but that's one of the territories. Then the Sasquatch was Saskatchewan. The man in a tub is Manitoba. On button, Terre, that's Ontario. K, back, that's Quebec. The Newfoundland, that's Newfoundland and Labrador. The new burning wick candles, that's New Brunswick. A bit of a stretch, but you can get it from that image. And then the Nova with the kosher salt, that's Nova Scotia, or also a stretch. And then finally, when you wake up, it's Prince with his head. Prince Edward, Prince Edward Island. Oh yeah! So that's it, right? So, and it was pretty easy. Just come up with a really weird story that kind of connects it all into one strand, one narrative. It's almost like storytelling. It's not even almost a method. You're just telling a story with all these weird images in a certain order. But that's the linking method. So now when you're on the run, you need to memorize something in a list, revert to the linking method and you'll save yourself. You're welcome. That's it for now. Love you guys. Subscribe, like, share, all those things. You know, you know the drill. You, you just, you know it. I've watched enough of these. I'm out.